Professor Di Marzo on the complications of FAAH inhibition. Via COX2 and, uh, and produce instead compounds that uh, exacerbate the pain rather than uh, inhibit it. And until a few years ago, evidence for the formation of this, uh, this compound, this COX2 metabolite of endocannabinoids, was rather scant. But over the last few years, a few papers appeared. First, prostaglandin E2 glycerol ester, which is uh, a COX2 metabolite of uh, the endocannabinoid 2AG, was identified and shown to induce hyperalgesia and inflammation in rats. And uh, we recently reported the isolation in the spinal cord of prostamide f 2 alpha and shown that this compound can uh, participate in pain in, in an animal model of knee inflammation and also exacerbate uh, those of our nociceptive neuron hyperexcitability. My presentation, we don't even need to make synthetic compounds because nature offers some very uh, uh, promising uh, and already in the clinic, in, in, some, in, in some ways, uh, compounds which have a multi target mechanism of action. This palmitoid ethanolamide is, in fact, an, an anandamide homologue. It's one of those bioactive fatty acid amines I told you at the beginning. It has several mechanisms of action. Uh, last but not least, the capability of uh, activating P-bars, particularly P-bar alpha, but also to enhance as an allosteric modulator the actions of anandamide at 3B1 and also the desensitization of uh, pharmacological concentrations of anandamide at 3B1. When... Professor Di Marzo on the World Congress of Pain 2012.